Hey, so top Biden officials met with leaders in Saudi Arabia yesterday to discuss a new railway project in the Middle East and India. The White House said their work with the Saudis will, quote, advance their shared vision of a more secure and prosperous Middle East region interconnected with India and the world. But train workers back here at home want to know why President Biden isn't bringing that prosperity to our faltering railways, especially after they say Biden turned their backs on them during the rail strike. Alec Lace has been a railroad mechanic for 23 years. Alec joins me live now in studio. So, you know, the White House, they're going to team up with the Saudis, but they're going to just leave you guys out to dry. What's your biggest issue with this? Well, listen, Ashley, uh, Joe Biden has made a lot of enemies with the railroad workers, and good morning to you. But listen, this is a guy that campaigned from the basement telling the railroad workers, hey, I'm one of you guys. I'm Railway Joe. I'm Choo Choo Charlie. You know, I'm with you guys. And then what happens? He stabs us in the back by turning down the package that would have gave the railroad workers workers seven days of sick pay now joe biden takes seven sick days a week we were looking for seven sick days a year you know what i'm saying so uh so he stabs us in the back now there were two packages even six republican senators voted for the package that would have gave us the seven sick days we were looking for three of them i interviewed on my podcast first class fatherhood senator cruz senator hawley and senator rubio but now you're talking about building a railroad in the middle east let me tell you something right now the railroad system in america is like a technology museum all right if you want to get into a time machine and see what technology was like 10 years ago go to any railroad on the in the united states and every time since this is a federal government which will step over a dollar to pick up a penny the railroad is no change you know same as that every time we get a new piece of technology or equipment by the time it goes through all the red tape all the regulations and actually gets to us on the rail it's five years out of date already so now we're going to go and stick railroad ties in the desert over in the middle east this is why people embrace america first let's take care of the american railroad first before we go over there and start building what a high speed rail over there we don't even have that here in the united states yet I mean, it's safe to say that this is a slap in your industry's face. Of course it is a slap in our face. And, and, and you know, just by, by the book, railroaders usually vote blue. We're always told, vote blue, vote blue, they're going to do the best for you. That ain't happening no more. We've seen it. We, we were lied to. And shame on him for doing that. And he's made a lot of enemies. He's trying to put a little Band-Aid on it. Recently, they did some deal where we're going to get four sick days, but it's only like 60% of the workers. He realizes he made them. Well, not him. He's not running nothing. We all know that. But the people that are running the show realize they made a big mistake and ticked off a lot of railroaders and they're trying to hold it together with some dental floss but it ain't gonna fly so i, I know you said that the majority of people in this industry they voted for trump in 2020 what do you think that's gonna look like in 2024 i mean do you foresee anyone after everything that's happened in December and him turning his backs on your industry? Do you think anybody in this industry will vote for him? Well, you're going to have people that are going to vote for him. But I'll tell you this, Ashley, I, I've been through six presidential cycles on the railroad in over two decades. And I never saw so many people vote Republican on the railroad like I did in 2016. Now, 2020, Biden, with this promise that he's got the railroaders on his back before he stabbed them in the back, thought, OK, they'll go this route. Now they're either not going to vote or they're going to vote Republican. In, in the next election because of this. What do you want to see done? What is the biggest thing that needs to be done for America railroads? Focus on America first. That's the number one. Take care of the, when you can say we have a high speed rail system that competes with Japan, competes with China, then maybe we talk about building railroads overseas. But let's get it done here. Let's take care of the American railroad worker. We worked all through to COVID. All we got was a pat on the back. None of that federal funding money through COVID went down to the workers. So let, let's take care of the American railroad worker first before we take it overseas. That's all. Yeah, I mean, the technology and equipment, from what you've said, it, it's nowhere they're up to date. There's so many things that could be changed. And he ran on the platform that he was everyone's president uh, in America. But we'll see what happens in 2024. Okay, Alec Lace, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you, Ash. Of course.